Hi and welcome to My Gadget Life. We're talking about wearable computers and I was looking at the example of a particular smartphone and seeing how uh, it can be improved upon. So I set myself a challenge. I um, took away a display unit, uh, video glasses basically, and hacked into it and made these pair of glasses one half of which is the LCD display connected to a long enough ribbon cable to the LCD driver board which goes into um, a long lead for the input circuit on the other side. Um, these extra wires here is just for the brightness and contrast controls which allows me to see the display on a bright day or not. And the other side, I have to apologise, but uh, is a whole, whole heap of ugly electronics. As you can see, um, um, I've got long leads to connect to each of these units in, in turn. What we have here, this large white triangular thing, rectangular thing is a cubby board. It's a one gig processor, uh, uses a system on a chip design which miniaturizes a whole PC into a, like a tablet or smartphone um, piece of kit. Um, the output of which is a HDMI, which I'm using this HDMI lead to connect to this small converter. It's a HDMI to RCA connector. Using only the output, as you see there, connects straight to the input of the video glasses. And from there on, um, I have this router, mini router. I could have actually put in uh, a USB version, but I haven't configured worked out how to do that so what I'm doing is using this mini router as you see it's basically this little square here I connected it through a PC or my Mac and went into the browser looked up the address and configured through the browser uh, to, to this router so it can receive and not transmit an access point so basically I'm receiving my own home network Wi-Fi so I can walk around and have this portable unit receiving um, the internet. The downside for this unit actually is that if I were to go walking around towards town or whatever I'm going to have to go into the browser, perhaps into the cubby board, open up a browser and try and uh, reconfigure the router through this cubby board every time I want to receive a different Wi-Fi station or whatever. All of this is powered by this external uh, battery. You can buy these fairly cheap because they're like a emergency storage power for your phone or whatever but I'm using it as actual um, power for, for the cubby board because USB connects straight to the cubby board and I get a second USB powering the HDMI uh, converter and the actual router I've taken a uh, USB port connected to the router. So, all in all, it all powers through um, this one external emergency battery pack. And if I wanted to be extra tidy, I could have cut all these cables and soldered them accordingly so I can reduce most of this ugliness. To interface with this um, 
computer is a basic optical mouse, which means I have to rub against my body just to um, as a temporary ma mouse mat to find whatever searches or control the computer. And luckily enough, if I want to type anything into this, the copy board brings up a uh, virtual keyboard because this is using a Android tablet OS system which allows me to basically just use this mouse to do most functions if not very slowly as I'm trying to type in each letter at a time. I could actually connect to this laser keyboard which uh, gives me extra portability because I can take this keyboard, stick this in my pocket, switch it on, connect it through a USB lead to the copy board and type in my searches much quicker. But for the time being I'm just using this mouse and um, this heads up display as a portable solution to the challenge of having a wearable computer. Of course all of this is um, fairly laborious and a roundabout way of actually saying that a portable phone might be just as good. Anyway, switching this thing on is just a question of switching the portable battery and then switching the video glasses on. And just lay this down. Hopefully, you can see the blue light which indicates it's switched on. waiting for the Android logo to uh, power up and reboot the whole system. See The whole unit is powered up. I can barely see. Uh, there you go. It's at a funny angle because it's angled towards my eye. But as you can see, you can see the whole Android operating system in there. Uh, uses a micro SD. I've got a fairly small 4 gig um, S. SD card in, into the cubby board which I can watch films or put music or whatever into it. So I can walk around with these glasses on looking like a fool but watching my favourite movie or film. Now at the moment I disconnected the um, headphones because I could put an audio output from through the drive board and this contrast board to my left and right ear. Instead, if I want to have any audio, I have to go into this um, audio socket here. Below that is the um, see that the uh, line audio line in input. So if I wanted to do any Skype calls or whatever, I'm going to have to boost the signal to line level and have that working as a Skype phone. But uh, all in all, I mean this is just a slight demo of my working computer. Personally speaking, I would much rather have a 
uh, a smartphone than all this because um, obviously it's, it's more inconvenient to rub a mouse against your body and type it in each word letter by letter than it is to have just a phone to whip out using a touch screen to use your thumb but it's an interesting project that I wanted to uh, address and have a look at anyway yeah. this is my gadget life and you're welcome to it